A private brand, also known as a private label, is a product that's sold under the name of a specific retailer. The product is manufactured by a third party, but the store sells under its own brand name. These items are usually seen as an affordable alternative to recognized name brand items. In a supermarket world, where net profit margins are razor thin, private brand items help retailers sell a product without forcing them to invest in a specialized supply chain or manufacturing costs. The thing is, while a private brand product can be entirely unique from the name brand, many times the only difference between them is the actual label used. The product is manufactured from the same production line as a recognizable national brand. For the manufacturer, making a product for a private label maximizes production, getting the product on more shelves without the expense of building retail markets. Some of the advantages of traditional private label is with a disrupted supply chain, often the private label product is available when the national product may not have been available. And one of the ramifications of all these supply chain disruptions have been that it's forced a lot of extra consumers to try new brands they historically may not have used, and many of those customers are permanently sticking with those brands. There are definitely some store brand items that can't compare to the quality of the name brand, but I've come to realize the power of psychology with recognizable labels. Do Eggo waffles, my preferred breakfast of choice, actually taste better than the generic store brand? Or is it just because I expect them to taste better? Research suggests brand names appeal to our feelings, according to a study by Posidonia Gontijo of UCLA. We associate certain emotions with certain brands. Good branding can inspire nostalgia, lighthearted good times, or sophisticated taste. And to be clear, a private label doesn't always correlate to cheaper quality like some brands. It can actually lead to a positive connection and loyalty to a brand, rather than it being seen as a cheap knockoff. Increasingly, what retailers are doing is something I'll call owned brands. And the distinction I'm making between owned brands and private label is owned brands are a product invented by the retailer, but it isn't an exact knockoff of a national brand. It's actually a new product with a new value proposition that the retailer thinks their customers want more than the national brands. And in many cases, those owned brands are becoming more popular and more successful than the national brands, often not because they're cheaper, but because they're better or fulfill some need in a different way. Trader Joe's is probably the best example, as 70% of its stock is private and owned brands. While there are various types of contracts vendors and manufacturers agree to, one key aspect is maintaining secrecy. Retailers and suppliers go to great lengths to keep their private label dealings a secret, not only to keep brand loyalty, but also to make sure customers don't become aware they could be getting the same product at a fraction of the price. As I make my weekly trip to my local grocery joint, I can't help but wonder who might be the secret supplier behind the generic oatmeal I buy, or if the Trader Joe's lasagna I love so much is actually just plain old Stouffer's. There are actually a few sneaky ways to uncover this. One way is by comparing a product's ingredients to find similarities. You can easily find public databases to compare two brands' ingredients to see if there's any matches. Another way is through food recalls. When an item is recalled, all the stores and brand labels where it's sold are usually published by the product's manufacturer. Here's a number of products that have been uncovered but not officially confirmed. label runs the gamut of cheap alternatives to premium goods. The shift in consumer behavior has made private label brands a powerhouse. When it comes to branding, labeling and marketing might just be smoke and mirrors, but loyal shoppers don't seem to mind.